in the quality improvement in math education project initiated by RMSA and uh, IIT Bombay under the kind supervision of Sri I.K. Rana. QIME video based PPT presentation. My topic of presentation is probability. My name is Prashant Dinkar Rao Bharane. My registration number is A068. My school name is Nano Pasak Vidyalay Bori Taluka Jindur. The district is Parvani. Probability describes how likely it is that an event will happen. The probability is explained in this PPT by three steps. Very first step is the observe and explore, in which I have taken some activities for the students by which they can easily understand what is the probability. The first activity is some students are asked to throw a die and one student is appointed to write the results. The game is played for three times and result is recorded every time. The result is as in the table. In the same game, one student is asked to throw a die on the uh, such that he gets three on the upper surface and then there is a second activity. In the first activity, the records for the first students are five, two, six. In the second, uh, for the second student, the results are one, five, one. Student three gets five, four and three on the upper surfaces in the three attempts, while student four get six, three, two. Second activity. In the second activity, four students are asked to measure the length of the blackboard in the classroom. They have to come one by one and note down the lens. First student came, note down the length, it is 150 centimeter. Second student also note down the length, it is again 150 centimeter. Third student, it is again 150 centimeter. Fourth student, it is 150 centimeter. After that, there is a third activity which is to be taken in the classroom. That activity is the student, one student have to draw a playing card from a pack of well shuffled playing cards. Uh, and after performing all these activities, students are asked some questions. And a questionnaire is made there. After performing these activities, it is expected that students should answer below like questions. Question number one, can they classify the above activities in two groups according to their results? How are the results in the first and the third activity? While how are the results in the second activity? Here they can understand that the uh, results in the first and third activity, they are random. Although the results are known, but cannot be predicted confirmly which will occur there. While in the second activity, the results are fixed. May students change, the result does not change there. Again, the next question can be asked that, can students list some more activities like first and second and third in which all possible results are known but none of it can be predicted confirmly. By these activities, students get an idea about the probability and then we will proceed for the definitions in the probability. The very first definition is of the random experiment. 
experiments in which we know all possible results but exactly one of them must occur such experiments are called random experiments the second definition is about outcomes results of random experiments are called outcomes third a sample space this is similar like the universal set in set theory the set of all possible outcomes of a random experiment is called a sample space and it is denoted by capital s then events a subset of sample space is called event then there are some events in the probability we will see the types of the events the very first is we will explain it by some examples if a coin is tossed and the event is getting either head or tail then in this example the sample space is h comma t and the event a it is again h comma t so such an event which contains all the sample points of a sample space is called certain event secondly if a die a die is thrown and a is the event of getting a score on the upper surface more than 6 then here a s yes is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 while in even a there is no any element that is a is empty set such an event which does not contain any sample point from the sample space is called impossible event then the third type it is an elementary event again we can have an example a die is thrown and b be the event of getting a number divisible by 5 on the upper surface then again sample space is 1 2 3 4 from a 5 and 6 while in set b there is only element 5 such an event which contain only one sample point of a sample space it's called elementary event fourth again a die is thrown and a is the event of getting odd numbers on the upper surface and b is the event of getting even numbers on the upper surface then sample space again 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and 6 a contains 1 comma 3 comma 5 and b contains 2 comma 4 comma 6 here if we have a union of these two events that is a union b it will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 and if we take the intersection of these two events that is a intersection b which is empty set here all the outcomes of set a sorry set b s yes, but not in a are there in set b and vice versa such events are called complementary event of each other and as their intersection is empty they are also called mutually exclusive events similarly their union is a sample space so these events are also exhaustive events then a 
after types of events there is then a formula which is widely used in probability the formula is to find the probability of an event say a p of a is equal to n of a that is number of a divided by number of s after this there is a second uh, that is define and prove in which we will prove two identities in the or two theorems in the probability very first is prove that p of phi is equal to 0 and p of s it is 1 that is probability of empty set is equal to 0 and probability of sample space is always 1 proof we know that empty set does not contain any sample point therefore there is no any element in the empty set that is n of phi is 0 and sample space contains all the sample points by the formula to find the probability we have p of phi is equal to p of n of phi divided by n of s it is equal to 0 divided by n of s and hence 0 divided by anything is 0 and similarly p of s is equal to n of s divided by n of s which is 1 second proof here we have to prove that if s is the finite sample space and a is the event of s then p of a dash is equal to 1 minus p of a proof in 9th standard we have studied set theory and we know that a union a dash is a sample space and a intersection a dash is a is an empty set therefore n of a union a dash is equal to n of s and n of a intersection a dash is 0 now we know n of a plus n of a dash minus n of a intersection a dash is equal to n of s therefore n of a plus n of a dash is equal to 0 is equal to n of s since n of a intersection a dash is 0 therefore n of a dash is equal to n of s minus n of a dividing both sides by n of s we get n of a dash divided by n of s is equal to n of s divided by n of s minus n of a divided by n of s therefore p of a dash is equal to 1 minus p of a after define and prove apply and evaluate here are some problems put forth against the students they have to apply their knowledge and they have to evaluate them I have taken the first problem the problem is India and Pakistan play a cricket match in the World Cup from the previous record it is assumed that India has probability to win is 0 0.8 so what is the probability that Pakistan wins here is the solution let I and P denotes the events that India and Pakistan wins the match P of I is 0 0.8 it is given therefore P of P is equal to 1 minus P of I that is 1 minus
that is 1 minus 0 0.8 as events i and phi they are complementary and the probability is 0 0.2 so the probability that Pakistan wins is 0 0.2 Second problem for evaluation is two digit numbers are formed from the digits 0, 5, 6, 7 and 8 where digits are not repeated. Here find the probability that number 1 the number formed is a number with 0 at its in its place. Second the number formed is a prime number. Third the number formed is greater than or equal to 50 and less than 80. Solution. Here sample space will be, will consist of 50, 56, 57, 58, 60, 65, 67, 68, 70, 75, 76, 78, 80, 85, 86 and 87. Event A consists of the numbers at its units place 0 are 50, 60, 70 and 80. The second event that is B which consists only prime numbers. So only one prime number is there and it is 67. And the third event is the number should be greater than or equal to 50. So it should start from 50 but less than 80 so will end at 78 and they will consist 12 numbers by the formula for probability p of a is equal to n of a by n of s it is 4 by 16 that is 1 by 4 p of b is equal to n of b by n of s that is 1 by 16 and p of c is equal to n of c by n of s it is equal to 12 by 16 that is 3 by 4. The third problem for evaluation is if, you, if four fair coins are tossed once find the probability that at least three heads turns up at the most two tail turns up. In the solution the sample space is H H H H H H H T H H T T H T T T H H T H H T H H T H H H T T H H comma T T T H T H H T T T H T H T H T H T T H T H T T T H T H and T T T T in first event that is A there are H H H H comma 